Advanced Life Support, Wikipedia Article Audio Advanced Life Support is a set of life-saving protocols and skills that extend basic life support to further support the circulation and provide an open airway and adequate ventilation. These include Components of ALS 2010 Changes ALS is a treatment consensus for cardiopulmonary resuscitation in cardiac arrest and related medical problems, as agreed in Europe by the European Resuscitation Council, most recently in 2010. 2010 revisions include ALS assumes that basic life support are administered. The main algorithm of ALS which is invoked when actual cardiac arrest has been established, relies on the monitoring of the electrical activity of the heart on a cardiac monitor. Depending on the type of cardiac arrhythmia, defibrillation is applied, and medication is administered. Oxygen is administered and endotracheal intubation may be attempted to secure the airway. At regular intervals, the effect of the treatment on the heart rhythm, as well as the presence of cardiac output, is assessed. Medication that may be administered may include adrenaline, amiodaron, atropine, bicarbonate, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Saline or colloids may be administered to increase the circulating volume. ALS Algorithms while CPR is given, members of the team consider eight forms of potentially reversible causes for cardiac arrest, commonly abbreviated as 6HS and 5TS according to 2005-2010 AHA Advanced Cardiac Life Support. Note these reversible causes are usually taught and remembered as 4HS and 4TS including hypoglycemia and acidosis with hyper-hypokalemia and metabolic causes and omitting trauma from the TS as this is redundant with hypovolemia. This simplification aids recall during resuscitation. As of December 2005, Advanced cardiac life support guidelines have changed significantly. A major new worldwide consensus has been sought based upon the best available scientific evidence. The ratio of compressions to ventilations is now recommended as 30,2 for adults, to produce higher coronary and cerebral perfusion pressures. Defibrillation is now administered as a single shock each followed immediately by two minutes of CPR before rhythm is reassessed. HS and TS ALS also covers various conditions related to cardiac arrest, such as cardiac arrhythmias, poisoning and effectively all conditions that may lead to cardiac arrest if untreated, apart from the truly surgical emergencies. Many healthcare providers are trained to administer some form of ALS. In out-of-hospital settings trained emergency medical technicians, paramedics, or medics typically provide this level of care. Canadian paramedics may be certified in either ALS or in basic life support. Emergency medical technicians are often skilled in ALS although they may employ slightly modified version of the medical algorithm. In the United States, paramedic level services are referred to as advanced life support. Services staffed by basic EMTs are referred to as basic life support, as those staffed by EMT intermediates are called intermediate life support. In the Republic of Ireland, Advanced life support is provided by an advanced paramedic. Advanced paramedic is the highest clinical level in pre-hospital care in the Republic of Ireland based on the standards set down by FESI, the Irish regulatory body for pre-hospital care and ambulance services. This terminology extends beyond emergency cardiac care to describe all capabilities of the providers. Other conditions 
In hospitals, ALS is usually given by a team of doctors and nurses, with some clinical paramedics practicing in certain systems. Cardiac arrest teams, or code teams in the USA, generally include doctors and senior nurses from various specialties such as emergency medicine, anesthetics, general or internal medicine. Who performs ALS? Tracheal intubation, rapid sequence induction, cardiac monitoring, cardiac defibrillation, transcutaneous pacing, intravenous cannulation, intraosseous access and intraosseous infusion, surgical cricothyrotomy, needle cricothyrotomy, needle decompression of tension pneumothorax, advanced medication administration through parenteral and enteral routes, advanced cardiac life support, pediatric advanced life support or pediatric education for pre-hospital providers, pre-hospital trauma life support, basic trauma life support or international trauma life support. Greater emphasis on continuous chest compression, less emphasis on airway and breathing, promotion of the intraosseous infusion of drugs and fluids if for access not readily available, further demotion of the precordial thump, ongoing simplification, expanded role for post-arrest hypothermia and emphasis on post-arrest normoglycemial maintenance.